Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka The Venom Vlog. In today's episode, we're going to talk about something very interesting that happened to Tom Hardy just a few days ago on the 16th of this month. And uh, yeah, I think it was on the 16th. And they had uh, the royal family and Prince Charles has actually made uh, Tom Hardy a CBE, which is a commander of the most excellent order of the British Empire uh, for drama, I believe. Uh, obviously, his work as an actor, too, uh, ha you know, that's what it's kind of attributing to. Uh, but he's kind of become a member of this uh, order of the British Empire. And uh, that's pretty cool. I don't think it it's not means does not mean the same thing as being knighted, obviously. Um, but I don't know if that means he's Sir Tom Hardy now or not. I think I don't know if being knighted is the only way you can become Sir or, you know, whatever. Uh, but uh, but I don't know full about all this and the article doesn't really go over it and I found two articles on this one of them I found interesting because the first one was from consequence of sound and this was posted on I think the 16th uh, so yeah just like a couple days ago and then uh, there's another one from comicbook.com which is a website that I'm not a big fan of uh, as some of you know and uh, they um, they although we do use them as a source sometimes for information which you know totally cool I guess um, but uh, they, uh, they they posted an article uh, to, uh, today, actually, on the 18th of this uh, of this month, or yesterday, I'm sorry, on the 18th, and uh, and they their structure is almost identical. I feel like uh, whoever wrote the CB article, the comic book article, just read this Consequence of Sound one and structured their uh, paragraphs almost similarly and hit the same points almost similarly in you know in order. It's I mean, if it's not a, a, a like a lift job or, you know, whatever, uh, I mean, certainly the words have been changed around. Some things are tweaked and stuff. So it's, you know, I don't want to say plagiarism, obviously, but uh, it the way it looks, it's like very similar. So I, I'm going to put a link to both you guys aside for yourself. It's not a big deal. I'm not trying to like call anybody out or anything. I just, when I was reading this other article, I was like, oh, let me make sure, because Consequence Get Sound got some of the information wrong. I was like, oh, let me check the comic book uh uh, dot com article just as a backup and I did and I was like wow this almost reads similarly to the other one um, it's like the same amount of information the same references they make they talk about how Tom Hardy is friends with the royal family and he actually went to the royal wedding earlier this year uh, they both say that around the same points of their you know uh, their articles and then even at the very end they mention that uh, Tom Hardy and Harry and William were all three in a short cameo in Star Wars The Last Jedi but their footage was cut and all this was mentioned in both articles almost identically so it was just weird to me I was like wow Wow, uh, that's funny how these are structured almost the same. Um, but yeah, so there's an image there. I'm gonna, you know, pull that off of uh, the uh, the consequenceofsound.net. I'll put a link to that and the comicbook.com one. Why not? We're reading both of them, and uh, you know, it doesn't matter. But uh, check check both out, you know, both sites out uh, for yourself. Uh, see the information there. I just thought it was cool. I was like, you know what? This isn't very like Venom related, but it's pretty neat. And it was funny. I saw someone tweet on uh, on Twitter. I'm actually trying to try to give them a shout out here if I if my computer will actually like uh, you know start you know rolling without being super slow. Um, but someone tweeted, they go, dude, even the Queen loved Venom. <laughs> and I, that made me laugh so hard. I was like, because this movie is just exceeding all expectations. I know there's a lot of people out there that don't like this movie, like, legitimately, and they, they found a lot of problems with it. And that's fine. I found some problems with the movie, too. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And I thought the character of Eddie Brock and Venom were done so well that I'm, I'm willing to overlook a couple of the little things. Uh, but, yeah, someone tweeted that, and I just thought that was funny. They said, uh, they said look, the Queen loved, uh, it was Diana Mc McCallum. Um, so Diana McKellum uh, at Worlds of Diana or Words of Diana at Words of Diana on Twitter. Um, she posted this uh, to the Consequences Sound link, and she said, "Look, the Queen effing loved Venom, you guys," uh, which is pretty funny. It just cracked me up big time. Uh, but it's good to see the movie do this, and then to see Tom Hardy's like personal life kind of take off in interesting directions too. And seeing him, you know, earn this honor is very awesome. And I just want to share it with you guys. This is a quick video, so let me know what you think down below. Read the articles, check them out for yourself, and let me know what you think of the information down below. And uh, and I mean, just everything's coming up Tom Hardy. It's like everything's coming up Millhouse, right? It's like this guy is in one of the highest grossing movies of all time, and we'll talk about that in the next episode. Um, and we'll also mention something about uh, some concept art that came out there. And then two episodes from now, we're going to talk about the Blu-ray and DVD releases, which got moved up. Uh, so we're going to talk about that in two episodes from now. But for now, this is interesting information. I thought this was awesome, and I want to hear your thoughts on it. So let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.